that is some damn good soup. It's hard to beat some good lentil soup in the winter. It's creamy, flavorful, and warms you from the inside out. This dish takes lentil soup and transforms it into a full-blown meal with the help of some crispy bread. I guarantee you'll never eat lentil soup any other way. This fantastic dish is fatta tads or lentil fatta, and what makes it so great is the texture you get from the crispy bread as well as the tangy garlic and vinegar sauce. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll have seen a bunch of fatta videos, like Egyptian fatta, aubergine fatta and fatta hummus. Some Egyptologists claim that fatta dates back to the time of the pharaohs. Whether that's true is questionable, but it is true that fatta is delicious. So next time you're eating something saucy, try serving it over some toasted pita bread instead of rice. To make that toasted bread is really simple. Take some pita bread like these or make your own pita and cut them into squares about 2cm by 2cm. You can also use these thin Lebanese breads but keep in mind that they easily go soggy because of how thin they are. Once you've filled an oven tray with 4 sliced pitas, spread them out then pour over about 1-2 to two tablespoons of olive oil. You can season these with chili flakes or sumac for some added flavour but we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give them a good toss so every piece is coated, then spread them out and place in a 160 degree celsius oven to bake for about 15 minutes. When they come out they'll be golden and crispy, and they're so addictive I reckon you should double your first batch. To make the lentil soup you'll want to get some split red lentils like these as they'll cook a lot quicker than the whole red lentils. Measure out 250 grams into a large bowl, then pour over some water and give them a thorough wash. That will remove all this lentil dust and they'll be left a bright orange colour. You'll also need to roughly chop one onion or two small ones, peel and chop 150 grams of carrots and quarter one large tomato. Add the vegetables to a pot with four cloves of garlic and your washed lentils. Now pour in one and a quarter litres of vegetable stock and turn your heat to high. Let this boil for a few minutes and then pull out the tomato pieces and peel off their skins. Adjust the heat to medium low and cover the pot with the lid then let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. When the time is up the lentils should have burst and partially dissolved and the vegetables should be fully cooked. Test one of the carrots and if it breaks easily you're ready to blend. I'm going to be using an immersion blender for the soup and if you don't have one they're super useful for getting soups and bechamels ultra smooth. Just be aware that if you are using a regular blender, check that it's heat safe and remove the lid so that your blender doesn't explode. Make sure you've completely blended all the vegetables into the soup and when done you should have a smooth mixture like this. At this point your soup is technically ready, but you need to reduce it until it has a velvety texture. So add in 2.5 teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of ground cumin and 1 teaspoon of Aleppo pepper flakes, then mix and turn the heat to low. How long you leave this will depend upon your stove, but mine took around 15 more minutes to get to this texture and this thickness is absolutely perfect for soup and for our fatta. There's one final component that goes into the soup and that is our tasha, or in India I believe they call this a tatka. Take 2 tablespoons of butter or oil and add them to a saucepan over medium heat. Once hot and bubbly add in 4 cloves of minced garlic and fry this for 30 to 45 seconds until fragrant. Just before the garlic starts to brown, add in a third of a cup of white vinegar, then heat this until it barely comes to a boil. Immediately pour your garlic and vinegar tasha into the soup, then give it a mix and it will taste fantastic. You can easily make this soup in bulk or ahead of time and it reheats really well, so it's perfect for winter. When you're ready to serve you're going to make another tasha. This time though slice the garlic into thin slices and let it brown ever so slightly before adding the vinegar. In a plate or bowl, make a small pile of the toasted pita, then add on a couple spoonfuls of the tasha. Add a few ladles of the lentil soup over the bread, then go back and add a little more tasha on top. Finally, top this with some parsley and nigella seeds, and then serve it immediately before the bread softens. Now I'm generally not a fan of soups, but this stuff is low-key addictive thanks to the garlic and vinegar. That is a perfect bowl of soup. It's got a luxurious texture with a great garlic flavour and the vinegar gives it an acidic kick which is perfect for winter. Now click here to see more Middle Eastern soup recipes.